Welcome to a lesson on solving application problems with formulas written in function notation. Here we're told that Grace is selling snow cones at a local carnival. Her profit in dollars from selling x snow cones is given by the function p of x equals 2.5x minus 30. So for our function p of x, the input x represents the number of snow cones and the output p of x represents the profit in dollars. So for part a, we're asked to write a complete sentence to explain the meaning of p of 30 equals 45. So when we're given p of 30 equals 45, we need to be able to recognize that this tells us that the input is 30 and the output is 45. So because the input is 30 and the input represents the number of snow cones, p of 30 equals 45 means that when the input is 30 snow cones, the output is 45, which represents the profit in dollars. So we'll say the output is $45 profit. So as a complete sentence, we'll say, if Grace sells 30 snow cones, she will make a profit of $45. For part B, we're asked to determine P of 10, show the work, and then write the answer as an ordered pair and interpret the meaning of the ordered pair in a complete sentence. So let's first determine p of 10. To determine p of 10, we'll substitute 10 for x, which would give us 2.5 times 10 minus 30. So p of 10 is equal to, well, 2.5 times 10 equals 25. So we have p of 10 equals 25 minus 30, and therefore p of 10 is equal to negative 5. So as an ordered pair, it's always going to be the input comma the output, or in this case, x comma p of x, and therefore the ordered pair is going to be 10 comma negative five. So when the input is 10, the output is negative five, which means the meaning of this ordered pair is that if Grace sells 10 snow cones, she'll have a profit of negative five dollars, which means she'll have a loss of five dollars. And negative profit means a loss. So as a complete sentence, we'll say, if Grace sells 10 snow cones, she will have a loss of $5. Again, we do not include the negative here because the negative profit indicates a loss. For C, we're asked to determine P of zero, show the work, and again, write the answer as an ordered pair and interpret the meaning of the ordered pair. So for P of zero, now the input X is equal to zero, so we'd have 2.5 times 0 minus 30. So we have p of 0 equals 0 minus 30. So p of 0 equals negative 30. So when the input is 0, the output is negative 30, which means the ordered pair would be 0 comma negative 30. So again, because the input is 0 and the output is negative 30, this means that if Grace sells 0 snow cones, she would have a profit of negative $30, meaning she would have a loss of $30. So as a complete sentence, if Grace sells zero snow cones, she will have a loss of $30. Another way to interpret this would be to say that Grace has fixed cost of $30 in her business of selling snow cones. A fixed cost is a cost that doesn't change regardless of how many items are sold. For part D, we're asked to determine X the input when p of x the output equals 100. And again, we're asked to show the work, write the answer as an ordered pair, and interpret the meaning of this ordered pair in a complete sentence. So here, because we're given the output p of x, we'll substitute 100 for p of x in our function formula. So if we substitute 100 for p of x, we would have the equation 100 equals 2.5x minus 30. To solve for x, we'd add 30 to both sides of the equation. That would be 0. So we have 130 equals 2.5x. Divide both sides by 2.5. x is equal to 130 divided by 2.5, which is equal to 52. So remember, x is the input and p of x is the output, which means the ordered pair would be 52, the input, 
comma 100 the output, which means if Grace sells 52 snow cones, she will make a profit of $100. Or because we were given P of X equals 100, we could say, in order to make a profit of $100, Grace must sell 52 snow cones. But to keep it consistent, let's go ahead and say, if Grace sells 52 snow cones, she will make a profit of $100. Part E, we're asked to determine X the input when P of X the output equals zero, meaning we want to find the number of snow cones she has to sell in order to make zero profit, which is often referred to as the break-even point. The break-even point is when no money is lost and no money is made. So again, we're asked to show the work, that is an ordered pair, and interpret the meaning of the ordered pair. So again, because we're given the output P of X equals zero, we'll substitute zero for P of X, which would give us the equation zero equals 2.5X minus 30. So again, we'll add 30 to both sides of the equation. This would be zero, so we have 30 equals 2.5X, divide both sides by 2.5. So we have X equals 30 divided by 2.5 is equal to 12. So when the input is 12, the output is zero, and therefore the ordered pair is 12 comma zero. So this means if Grace sells 12 snow cones, she will make zero profit, or we can say she must sell 12 snow cones to break even. So let's go ahead and say if Grace sells 12 snow cones, she will make zero profit, or more commonly referred to as break even. I hope you found this helpful.